everybody, it's Julie the Author Gamer and welcome back to Misty Valley. And you caught me just as I was about to enjoy a little snack. <laughs> Strawberry toaster treats are the best and it was made with ingredients from my own farm. But that got me thinking. As I was going through the recipes for the different foods you could craft, I came upon this, an oven. And I believe you need an oven to bake different kind of pies, which I would really like to do. There's also other types of equipment, like brewers and mills and pressers, which you need to make different types of food. So, we're gonna do that. Unfortunately, there is one little problem. The oven recipe requires redstone dust and a block of redstone, and I don't have any redstone. So today, we're gonna head into the mines and look for redstone. Quick update on the duck pond. I am sad to say that the piranhas did indeed keep spawning, and I lost a couple fish, so what I decided to do was tame some piranhas and stick them in too. And it has slowed the piranha spawning considerably. I also found this really rare pink mergoose and was able to get her into the pond too. Then I found her mate and they made a baby mergoose, so now I have three. And the mergies have been very helpful because if a piranha spawns in and attacks one of them, they will immediately attack it back. So I haven't lost any more fish or ducks since adding the mergies. But yeah, there's our lively little duck pond with our mergies, our piranhas, our tropical fish, and our pizza fish. Everybody seems happy. The ducks also seem happy. They get to wander around again. And look who's back. I missed Spotted Duck so much that I went out and I got another one. So here we have Spotted Duck. It's like he never left. I also found this strange mallard wandering around. He's got something on his back. I have no idea what it is, but I've never seen it before, so I tamed him and brought him home. If anybody knows what that strange thing is on his back, please tell me. But the sun is going down, so I'm gonna sleep out here with my ducks and my murkies and everybody else. Okay, ducks have been taken care of. It's time to go mining. Aha, there's our first redstone. Grab some of this gold too, that's also needed for the recipe, and some iron. Oop, nope, 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 I forgot a shield, nope. Oh, you're way up there. Why don't you come down here? Yes. <laughs> now I got you. Ah! Uh, excuse me, what are you? What, what are you? What are you? This giant bug! Do you like anything? Do you like fish? No. What do I need to tame you? He looks like a giant pill bug. He's kind of cute. Oh, there's another one. What are these things? Well, unfortunately, the giant bugs do not want anything that I have. Ha! More redstone. There we go. Now we're getting some redstone. Oh, wow. That's a block of iron. This must be a vein. That means I can get a ton of iron. Let's see how much I can get. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I got greedy, I got greedy, I got greedy, I got greedy. Oh. Okay, and the answer to that was one. One block of iron. Ow. Oh, why are there so many skeletons? Oh, there are so many skeletons. No. I'm gonna need you to fight each other, please. I don't have a shield. This is bad. Yes, go fight each other. There you go, fight each other. Good. Thank you, that zombie. And now you die. And I had a shield all along. Sigh. Oh my gosh, there's, there are two babies. One is riding a spider. One likes children. Ugh. Oh, I see redstone. And a geode. There's a skeleton hiding in that geode. I see you. You like to shoot that zombie. There you go. Smack the zombie. Thank you. Oh no, oh, look straight at an Enderman. Hi, how are you? Nice weather we've been having, right? <coughs> yes, you keep coming back. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, you are right here with me, aren't you? Oh. This adventure for redstone has gotten kind of hairy. I just want the redstone. That is all I want. All right, we're gonna have to gather some of this. The basalt is very interesting with this texture pack. So we're gonna take some. Oh yes, I found diamonds. Always a bonus, even if there was only two. Oh, no, nope, there's three. 
four. And more diamonds. Whoa, look at all that iron. This must have been where I fell in. I think this is the iron vein that I found before. So we can still get a ton of iron from it. Yep, there's the raw iron block. We are never going to need iron again. Okay, this has been a scary but successful trip. Time to head home. Okay, we're home. Let's put all this stuff away. And now we can start making the kitchen appliances. First, let's smelt all this iron. Ugh, this is taking forever. Hello, Zane. Do you mind if I borrow your blast furnace? Okay, that should start cooking much faster. And while the iron is cooking, let's make a few redstone blocks. Hopefully, eight will be enough. Oh, right. I also need gold. How much gold do I have? Okay, I already have a block of gold. All right, we finally have enough ingredients to craft our first appliance. Two blocks of iron, one block of redstone, two blocks of gold, one redstone dust, two bars of iron, and one diamond, and we can finally make an oven. Oh my goodness, that took so much. Hopefully it'll be worth it. And we're gonna put our new oven right here. What do you think, Angel Kitty? Now I might remove this cherry wood plank and replace it with the crafting table. Yeah. I think that looks good. Now the next thing I want to make is a mill, which takes all the same ingredients except stone. So we'll smelt this cobblestone, and now we should be able to make a mill. I think we're gonna put the mill out here, right there, and this will allow us to turn certain grains into flour. And the last thing I want, even though it might be a waste, is a fridge. Now we have a fridge. We can even store things in it. Look at that. And now I think we have a proper kitchen. And once we get a few more appliances, we can make even more food. But speaking of more food, I will admit our little vegetable garden is pretty impressive, but this is not all of the crops. There are even more crops to plant. And unfortunately, we have just run out of room. So I think it is time to build a greenhouse. And I have the perfect spot. I've cleared out all the land and right here, we're gonna build a beautiful greenhouse to plant the rest of our crops. Now, obviously, we're gonna need a lot of glass. And I think I'm gonna build the greenhouse out of white stained glass. Now, we're gonna need a lot of white dye, but fortunately, we have a little bone meal machine right here. And I have been collecting a lot of pigeon poop. So we'll just turn that into bone meal, and then turn the bone meal into white dye. Keep pooping, Perry. You're doing a good job. So, if we take our glass and combine it with the white dye, we will get white stained glass. And I think I'm going to use these cherry logs here on the corners. So, just like that. And then if we strip them... Yep, that looks good. And then we'll just add this around the perimeter. Okay, that is the perimeter of the greenhouse. And since I'm just going to be placing a bunch of glass blocks, I will come back when the greenhouse is finished. And here is the greenhouse. It is the cutest greenhouse I have ever made. So outside we have these adorable little fences. And inside I use the cherry wood planks for this really cute little path around. We can also make these adorable cherry paper lanterns. Maybe just like that. Yep, I'm really pleased with this. I think it is super adorable. And I can't wait to get some more crops to grow in here. And that'll be more than enough room for the rest of our crops. If we can find a wandering farmer. But it looks like I have some more mail, so let's see who left us a letter this time. For pizza fish, from Jake. Thank you, Jake. I hope you found your pizza fish, uh, delicious. And then we have this. Oh, it's from Sebastian. Abigail's birthday is coming up. I'd like to get her a pet, but she hates cute things. Who hates cute things? Would you be able to find a suitable pet I could give her? Anything weird, creepy, or grotesque would be great. Sebastian. So Sebastian wants to get a pet for Abigail's birthday, but she wants something weird, creepy, or grotesque. I think I have just the thing. But first, I'm going to have to visit our resident weird creature expert. Mr. Marlowe, hello. I need to know about giant bugs. Thank you, Mr. Marlowe. I have everything I need now. And we're heading back into the caves. Yes, here we go. This is definitely a weird, creepy, grotesque pet. Now, Mr. Marlowe said you like apples. Do you like apples? You do like apples. It is kind of cute. I wonder if I can find any more down here. Oh, wow. There are a ton down here. It's a little colony of them. All right, I'm going to take this yellow one. And this pink one. And this little gray one. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby. Hello. Oh, I have to grow you up first, huh? Okay, 
Um, once again, I might have gone overboard. Okay, little bugs. Uh, apparently you're called wood lights. I'm just gonna call you giant pill bugs. Little pill bug colony, follow me. We still have to find our way out of here. Come on, little pill bugs. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's everybody. Don't mind me, just taking my pill bug army for a walk. Hey, there's a pigeon. I wonder if Perry would like a friend. Yes, Perry has a friend now. Okay, I think we're gonna put the little pill bug colony in here. There we go, that's everybody. All right, one of these is gonna be for Abigail. And I think I'm gonna pick this gray one right here so the rest of you can wander around. Okay, now I need to deliver this little pill bug to Sebastian so he can give it to Abigail. Oh, there's Sebastian now. Sebastian, I have the perfect gift for Abigail. This little wood house right here. Do you think she'll like it? Put it in your house, will do. It in there, there you go, sit. There we go, you stay here. You are gonna be a gift for Abigail. You'll be a good wood blouse and I will come visit you sometime. Oh, Abigail, no, there's nothing in there. Nothing interesting at all. Okay, wood blouse delivered. Now we gotta take this pigeon over to Perry. Perry, making more bone meal I see, good. I found your friend. All right, there we go. Now we have two pigeons. Let me know some good pigeon names in the comments. And I'm gonna grab my seeds that I have bought from the wandering trader. And we're gonna plant them in our brand new greenhouse. Hello, wood lice. So we have banana peppers, rye, buckwheat, spilt seeds, and some marsh seeds which need to be planted in mud. But there's the start of our little greenhouse. And I think that wood louse just made the plants grow faster. So you guys will be right at home here. I have a colony of giant bugs, perfectly normal. All right, everyone, we did some good work today. We got some new kitchen appliances, we got a greenhouse built, and we got a helpful colony of wood lice. Of course, if you would like to name a wood louse, please leave your suggestions down in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give it a like, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!